Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss gross income exclusion. And we're going to look at several topics that deals with exclusion from gross income because in the absence of any specific information, all income is included. Included means taxable unless specifically excluded. Excluded means it's not taxable. So there are certain items that, that are not taxable and we need to discuss the rules for those. Simply put, gross income exclusion is when you receive cash and that cash is not included in gross income, therefore not taxable. So we need to know what are those items. Okay. Now bear in mind, exclusion is different than deductions. Deductions is when you make a cash payment or a non-cash expense. Basically, you can deduct something that's going to reduce your gross income. This is not what we are discussing. We are not discussing deductions. We are discussing when the cash itself not included in gross income. And specifically in this session, I'm going to be focusing on two topics, which are gifts and inheritances. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with gift. What is a gift? Gift is the act of giving property or cash without any expectation of getting anything in return. So it's not an equal exchange. You're giving something, and maybe because you like the person out of affection, and you don't expect anything in return. That's the definition of a gift. So it's done voluntarily out of sentiments like affection, respect, admiration, charity, or with the, intent to, um, with the intent to donate, do not impose a tax obligation on the recipient. So if you gave me a gift, I don't have, if I'm the receiver of the gift, let's assume you have a rich aunt or a rich uncle and they gave you a gift. You are not responsible for that, to paying taxes on that gift. So the gift to you is tax free. Now, how about your rich uncle or rich aunt? Well, that's the topic for, for a different session. They're called the donor. The donor, they'll have different rules, which we'll talk about them in a different session. How about inheritance? What is an inheritance? It's a gift. The only difference is it's a gift from a person that already died. So a gift is from a person that's alive. Inheritance is the person passed away. In terms of taxation, if you are receiving this money, beneficiaries, like if you are the person that's receiving the money from your rich grandma or grandpa, they passed away and left you some money, you don't need to pay taxes on what you inherit. And again, we'll talk about that topic later on, how about your grandma and grandpa, that's a different story. Now bear in mind, any income generated from those assets or gift, let's assume they gave you a bond or a stock, and the bond pays interest, that's separate from the bond. Once you receive that interest, you'll have to pay taxes. Or if they give you a stock, the stock pays dividend. Well, guess what? We receive a dividend from the stock. When you receive the stock, that was not taxed, but the dividend is taxed. So if a father gifts his daughter a corporate bond, the daughter won't be taxed on the gift itself, which is the corporate bond itself. However, any interest generated from that bond will be taxable. It just It's a regular income. Now you own the bond, it's regular income. How about if there is a, quote, gift or any so sort of transfer from employers to employees or basically gifts? Transfer, what I, mean, what I mean by here, giving you something. Well, the first thing you need to know, there's no gifts between employers and employee. There's no affection. There's no relationship between you and your employer. The only relationship is a compensation relationship. You work for the employer and they gave you money. No gift. Okay. Now, Gift given by their employees, by the by their employers. Their employees typically cannot be exempt from taxes. That's there's always you know an exception, but typically they're not because you know you are working there. You are not uh, give, doing them a favor, or they're not doing you a favor. There are certain exceptions, certain exceptions under certain condition, 
if the employee, there's an achievement award. If there's an achievement award under certain circumstances, that might be excluded. Also, if you experience a disaster in a qualified disaster area. So let's assume you live in an area and there's a hurricane or an earthquake. An extraordinary situation where these rules change if it's a disaster. Why? Because for a disaster, the employer was not planning to give you anything. So when that disaster happened, they're trying to help you out. When they're trying to help you out, it's not planned. Therefore, they're really trying to help you out, get out of this situation. So there are special circumstances. So if an employer compensate their employees for living costs, funeral expenses, or property damage incurred during a disaster, this payment may be excluded from the employee's gross wages. So under those circumstances, it's a different story. Why? Because now they are going above and beyond. They did not plan for this. They did not plan for this. How about employee death benefit? And what is that? Say employee death benefit refers to the payment made by an employer to the surviving spouse. So if you work for a company and you pass away, the company might make a payment to your spouse, child, or other beneficiaries of the deceased employee. Okay, that could be some sort of a of a benefit. As being an employee, you have those employee death benefit. If the deceased employee had an irrevocable entitlement, what does that mean? It means the employee already worked for the money. Okay, so simply put, we're dealing with unpaid salaries, unpaid salaries. These amounts are taxable. So if they're paying you, basically think of it as back pay. You already worked for this money. Now you passed away, but there's one month one month behind that they need to pay you. Well, guess what? If they're paying you for that, they're paying you for your effort. They're paying you for your work. And as a result, that amount is taxable. This means they must include that money in your tax return. Because you earned it. You earned this money. Just you did not get the cash, but you already earned it. Now, there are certain exclusion that employee death benefit could be excluded. Let's take a look at those exclusion. Okay? Could potentially be a tax benefit, uh, tax exempt as a gift. Okay? First, the payment made to the surviving spouse or children, not the deceased employee estate. So they're paying directly to your spouse or children. They're not paying you. The employer does not receive advantage from these payments. Simply put, the surviving spouse or the children are not providing a service. So they're giving you something to the surviving spouse or to the children, but they don't expect the surviving spouse or the children to perform any work. Okay, simply put, the surviving spouse and children have not performed any service for the employer and not expected to perform any service. If that's expected, it becomes compensation. Also, what we have to assume here is that the deceased employee, the person that passed away, already received their full compensation. Just basically saying the same thing. In other words, you are not paying them for a back pay. They, they were already fully paid, and now we're going above and beyond, and we wanted to give the survive. We don't have to, but we're giving the surviving spouse and the child an amount of money. Okay? The payments are conducted following a resolution by the company's board of directors in line with the company's general policy. We're not making any exception here. We're not making any exception whatsoever. This is what we do. After the person dies out of charity, we don't expect anything in return. We already fully paid them. We don't owe them anything, but we're going to do this as a, in quote, a charity here. That's fine. As long as the con these conditions are met. Let's take a look at a few examples that illustrate these concepts. Sam earned a $70,000 from his salary, Blue Design. Is that amount taxable? What do you think? Of course it is. That's as simple as a compensation. It's taxable. As a reward of exceeding his performance goal, the company presented him with an all-expense-paid trip to Hawaii worth $5,000. Well, is that taxable? And the answer is yes. There's no gift. They might call it a gift, but it's not a gift. It's basically you earned your compensation. You did well. No gifting between employers and employee. No affection. It's taxable. Okay. So now, simply put, if we're talking about Sam, Sam will have 75000 of taxable income. Let's look at Emily. Emily received 15000 from her employer to assist with medical bills not covered in her insurance. Once again, there's no gifting. No gifting. 
unless here again the generally speaking this is not taxable unless here we're doing going above and beyond but based on this information this is taxable amount okay there's no gifting unless a company has a policy to reimburse employees and everyone and this policy applies to everyone if that's the case then if they're helping her and you know it doesn't matter how much you work just you know if your medical bill you cannot cover your medical bills uh above and beyond your insurance coverage we will give you the money well that's not we're not waiting for that so unless that uh, the amount is taxable there's no gifting john received twenty thousand dollars from his deceased wife employers as a support during his time of hardship well john's wife passed away the employer paid john twenty thousand dollar for his time of hardship they want to help him go through this time of hardship what we have to assume here is the wife was fully paid so the wife before she passed away there was no back pay assume the wife was compensated here's there is no relationship between the employer okay uh, there is no relationship between the employer and john the employer and john therefore this is a gift we're giving you a gift they don't have to do this they're just helping you there's no relationship between the employer and john not the wife there's a relationship between the employer and the wife but the wife was fully paid the the relationship here between john and the employer and the employer don't have to pay john but they decided to do that well that's a gift and they don't expect again here we have to assume they don't expect john to give them anything in return to perform any work or do anything in return given those circumstances it's a gift the gift is not taxable what should you do now go to farhat lectures look at additional resources multiple choice true false that's going to help you understand this gift and inheritance concept whether you are a cpa exam candidate enrolled agent candidate or an accounting student my resources can help you perform better in your college classroom and professional certification invest in yourself good luck study hard and stay safe